Hey there guys, Serial Killer Shreddy here, also known as Jesse, and today I'm bringing you a review of the uh, Z333 speakers from Logitech. These form a 2.1 setup uh, without the Bluetooth adapter for £45, and if you buy them with the Bluetooth adapter, that takes up to around £56-ish. Pounds. This, of course, is all from Amazon. The main selling points Logitech has for these speakers are the powerful sound with 80 watts peak power and 40 watt RMS power, and deep bass provided by the subwoofer. Inside the box you get two satellite speakers with 7.5cm drivers and one subwoofer with a 13cm driver. You also get a control pod with a power switch, uh, power LED, uh, volume control and 3.5mm headphone jack. Now let's move on to a closer look at the speakers. Now slightly angled back to provide good sound projection to fill your uh, space with sound. On the front you've got the 7.5cm driver and the Logitech branding underneath. And on the back you simply have the RCA in for from the subwoofer. Due to the cheap price of this setup, Logitech always pushes the point one part of it very hard. Uh, so let's take a look at the subwoofer. On the front there is simply the 13cm uh, driver and the Logitech branding underneath, the same as the satellite speakers. Then around the back, starting at the bottom you have the power cable, uh, a 3.5mm cable thing for your phone and also uh, the wire that goes out to the control pod. Above all those wire cables, there are the uh, two outputs for the satellite speakers, two RCA outputs. Uh, they're pretty easy to set up which is which, because one is blue and one's black. And then above there you have two RCA inputs for, for a cable. Yeah. Uh, on Amazon it recommends that cable, which is two RCA into one 3.5mm, so you can plug that into your phone, or Xbox, it's just designed so you can have multiple uh, outputs, inputs, plugged in at any one time, so you can switch between them. And finally at the top there is the uh, bass knob, so you can either have it turned off, so you don't interrupt your neighbours, or have it on full, so it sounds like there's a party next door. Well, for the neighbours it sounds like there's a party next door, for you it just there is a party. Around the uh, left hand side you have a hole. Yeah, that's all I can say about that. Now it's called a tuned port, so, it's, so you get even better bass. And if you put your hand next to it when the bass is turned up, you can actually feel the air going like <laughs> glorious. Uh, this sub actually provides a good enough bass that you can feel it in the floor if you're a few meters away and the bass is cranked up with a bassy song. It's quite good actually. So the last bit of the speaker setup is the control pod. This thing also has a very simple design. The top part is dedicated to volume control, you simply turn it and then that will change uh, loud, soft, whatever. Uh, then on the left hand side, at the bottom-ish area, you have um, an on-off switch. Not really much to say about that, is there? It's just an on-off switch. Then at the front you have a uh, power LED, so not much to guess to say about that. Again, it's just on, on, off, off, yeah. Just makes it look good and, well, it lets you see whether it's on or off. Mine are on right now, yay. Um, on the right hand side, finally, you have the uh, 3.5mm jack for plugging, in for plugging in headphones. Not sure why you'd do that to a speaker system, but well, whatever floats your boat. The volume control on the control pod actually controls the uh, speaker system's volume. It doesn't control the system's volume. So if I have it plugged into my computer and I change the volume on the speakers, it will only change the volume that the speakers output at. It won't change the volume of the, system, the computer system which allows for one thing more minute control. So let's quickly go over to a, a sound test of the speakers. This will show how loud it is, the bass, uh, sound quality, but because of the microphone on the camera, it's not gonna be a true representation. It will just give you a sort of idea and you can tell. So despite these speakers being made out of plastic, entirely out of plastic by the way, no metal from what I can see, uh, they have a very high quality feel. If you tap them it doesn't like 
feel weak, it doesn't make a hollowy noise or anything. It feels like it's a good solid product that won't die if you punch it in the face by accident. Well, if you attack it with a knife, it'll go straight through everything, probably. So I'm probably not safe to be around this, but... <laughs> oh. Oh, well. So in conclusion, I would recommend these speakers to you guys. They have good sound quality for the price. Uh, 80 watts is really a very high for 45 quid. Uh, they have a quality feel, they make your setup look nice, and they have a subwoofer. Now the control pod's handy, deep bass, powerful sound. Everything uh, Logitech advertises is actually kind of true. If you went up to a higher price range, obviously these would all be better, but seeing as I went from a set of 1.2 watt speakers that were originally £20 to a 80 watt system that's £45, I think I'm doing pretty well. Uh, and I think you guys could too, so yeah. I would recommend buying them, uh, unless you can afford better, then obviously go better, because, yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like rating down below. If you want to uh, comment on this video, or just generally tell us anything, like whether you liked it, or if you want to add, tell us something to do another time, leave us a comment down below in the description box. And finally, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.